What's up everybody? I'm back here with you for another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Got two more missions on the map so far available. Got one for Tolani over there and one for Micah. <laughs> we'll do the Micah one first. Yeah, Micah, what's up? You want to meet mask with anybody else? Uh, are you gonna have a calm day? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's Pete, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys. On the road in the town, and things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking. They suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. We've got to take it. I killed Combs brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. All right, let's go. Yeah, this is this is a slap, isn't it? <laughs> I was saying that Michael actually agree on something. This is probably a slap. Alright, let's go. Those twins who bought the horses are strange, huh? You know, I've been fighting for so long now. I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. <laughs> okay. We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch. Settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. 
Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. <laughs> <laughs> Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Okay, we'll do Dutch. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Alright, see you on the other side. Go to the obs observation position. Alright, let's go, Arthur. Well, they, they suppose they've got guys seeing us coming in, so... Won't they have somebody watching over the meat as well? Maybe that's the one over on that lookout spot, over on that cliff. Maybe. Oh, I've got the lair rifle. That's, I got that in the last mission, I think, didn't I? Okay, uh, there, where, where are they? Is that cotton? Yeah, it looks like it. Hello, Dutch. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believe in you. Better world. Pure world. <laughs> How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Oh, heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch. Bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Okay, that didn't go well. I knew they'd have guys watching us. God damn it. Call him 
Oh, quick, Arthur. Get up. Get up. Strange times. They killed Shaman. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Coleman Frack, we can No, you haven't. No. No. Die. God damn it, did I get lassoed? What? Where did that get hit? Was that shoulder shot or something? Shot in the arm? I think. Can I get? Oh, get off the horse! Can I get off? No, it doesn't look like it. Right. Okay, where, where are you taking me, old zlissles? Assholes. Finally, put his weapons over there. Okay, t you tell me where my weapons are. Good. I know where to go. Oh, hey, Cole. Flicking out the skulls. What's that? Get oh, the metal file. Uh. Come on, come on, Arthur. Swing. Swing. Yes, got it. Trying to find. Is the bullet not in there? When it goes straight through. Oh. 
Oh, do I do it? Oh no! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, that's close. What the hell? You! You're going to hell! Sleep though it nice. Cool. What's he still doing down there? Oh shit. One thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. <laughs> he didn't see me. <laughs> Yes, got that guy. Get him down. No, oh, shit, shit. Get my guns. Where are they? Why have we got a Springfield rifle? What? How did I get him? Go! Go get my horse! Go! Uh, that's my horse, isn't it? My horse followed me here. Okay. Go! Get out of here! Oh. oh, did he see me? No, I think I got past. Oh, fuck, no! Ow! Shit, go! Get going, go, go Arthur, go. Let's get out of here. This is not going to plan. That stealth thing did not go to plan. Go. Get going, Arthur. Come on, run, girl, run. Get me out of here. Get me home. Come on, girl. Get me home. That's what I said. Let's go, get me home. Okay, let's get gone. So what kind of stupid plan is that that like Colin had? Yeah, let's... Does he not... I thought he knew Dutch. No, no Dutch would The kind of thing Dutch would say is when he's gone, they just find another monster. Dutch is gone. Who, who are they coming for? They're, not, they're just going to move on to the next gang. How do we make it back? Yeah, that, that was our, our camp, wasn't it? Arthur. Arthur. Yeah, I told you it was just set up to us. My boy, my dear boy, what? He got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah, yeah you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help! 
Reverend Swanson? He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Oh no, there's a coyote going to get me. No. Wake up, Arthur. Don't let the coyote get you. It is a coyote, isn't it? It's not, it's, that's not a wolf. It looks too small to be a wolf. A few weeks later. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. <sighs> Mission complete. Blessed are the peacemakers. Hey, there's another reference to the first game. <laughs> or the end of the first game. Hey, Dutch. Not to say sorry again. You were coming for me, right, Dutch? Of course, son. Good to see you back up in Adam again. A few more battle scars. Okay, I'll <laughs> Got a few more battles, guys. Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> oh, I'm sleeping till morning. <laughs> Sleep till morning, then go and see what Talon has got for us. <laughs> trail back never showed up no I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll uh, so I heard I'm sorry one time I, I I try to be wise and careful and make a goddamn fool of myself that'll teach me At least, it, at least it came to apologize, even if it wasn't really his fault. And just calm slicked us, but. At least you came to apologize and <laughs> basically say that you just made a film of yourself. Good on you, Micah. Yes, yes, alright, I'm here. of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. 
The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? All right, let's go. Lead the way and we'll find out. We're going ahead into the loads. Go to the load station. All right, come on then. Let's go. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow let me present you with something real so where exactly are we going the train station the clerk there alden is quite a fellow very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts ah i see all right let's go we'll have a stagecoach apparently yeah, I, that's, that's a good point that it was just mentioned about the two families. But we should be careful because it is a small town. <laughs> now the two big families. And of course they're going to they're know what each other's up to. Whatever. Let's go love a stagecoach. Two weeks of bloody messed up my nice little beard. I've got my beard's too long. They often are. But how's work? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Uh, I forgot. Oh. Um, he hasn't given us any information yet. You kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us. A fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, a feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, 
Goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu? Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> right, let's make document what we got. Coach Labberly Tip. Coach coming south down the Liver Road through Siltwater Strand. Valuables in strong box. Passenger is very wealthy. Mrs. Chester Damsel. Damson. <laughs> Aspiring but appalling opera singer. Use your imagination. Okay, will do. <laughs> Let's head on out. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. All right, let's go. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. What crossroads? Uh, this one. This one quick. Sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is damn soon. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay, will do. Got a lot of now. Cool. I don't need to shoot the lock now and make a load of noise. I can just sneak up and unlock it. And I get it free because I waited till this mission. Don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree 
Samson, you owe it to me, to West Elizabeth. I definitely should have had ear plugs. Like the lock. Ooh, money back. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Let's go. Get out of here. I think we did a good job. You trying to say? <laughs> for once. I'm all about finesse. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Seven hundred and fifty dollars, not bad. Uh, how long is this? Yeah, we've got time to go to, go see Bill. Right, Mr. Chulo. Morning. <laughs> Keeping everyone entertained. Well, I do my best. Good to have you around. Take care, Arthur. Okay, take care. <laughs> Get back to camp for any more bounty hunters if anybody find you. Don't want to have to come and rescue you again. Folks. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job and needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them and their pants. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board and their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braith ones. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely gonna need that skill they just pissed us off. 
Boom! Ass in the in the mouth. Guns have I got? Really? I've only got this. Ah. Really? I've only got the split field with pit rifle. Well, that's shit. <laughs> it's only single shot. It's not only the best for the shootout. To the back. Back of the gun. No, oh, no, the door's there. Get it to the back. Oh, oh no! Didn't even notice that. I need help. I need help. Give me help. Me health. You see that window? That's better. Skull. Don't talk to me about slap. Better in here, not there. You sure about somebody down there? Didn't you? Yeah, I thought I saw somebody. All them people, and they still can't stop three guys. Well, two guys, because there's just half of them. Micah. Can't see him though, it's the door shut. Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. 
You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Mark you? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Oh, you should be frightened, though, Micah. <laughs> Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold. But a shitload of trouble. Yep. <laughs> Just a shitload of trouble. At least Solani's mission actually went well. <laughs> Two missions that involve Micah don't. Although he did kind of save his then. Um, there we go. Then when the tight ambushes. And in Cody Arthur have complained about every plan. Which is true. Bill, Bill was just trying to find a lead, find something, find a job. And Arthur does just complain. But maybe he complains because either, either the plan's not very good or the execution of the plan isn't very good. Anyway, we've just got a mission with Dutch. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get anybody else killed. We've lost Sean. No, Sean! <laughs> yeah, we've just got that Dutch mission, I think, isn't it? Yeah, we've just got that Dutch mission. Okay. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's all I've got time for in this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Arthur, why are you kicking? <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, <laughs> I'll see you next time. But until then, it's goodbye for now from me and Arthur. <laughs>